Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to edit your TikTok videos using CapCut. Let's jump in. First, we're going to open up CapCut. Now, there's a lot of editing features that are built into this, but what I'm going to focus on today are the elements that are directly utilizing the TikTok app, and I'll show you what I mean. So we're just going to open up a new project here, and I'm just going to bring in some footage just to show you how this works. And this is just a little talking head video that I used in for another example. So the first thing you do is you could use some of the sounds that you have favored on TikTok directly in here. And this is how you do this. So when you're looking at the video, what you want to do is you go down to the bottom and you click on audio and then you click on sounds over there on the left. And of course they have a whole bunch of different sounds here that you can, that are built into the app here. But what we want to do is right there towards the middle, you see the TikTok sign, you click on that, and then it's going to ask you to link your TikTok account. So you click on link your account. It's going to open up TikTok for you. And just like that, it links the account from TikTok to CapCut. And now you see here is It's a Beautiful Day, Michael Buble, which is a sound that I've favorited in TikTok. And all I have to do is click the plus sign. And that is now added into this video. Now let's jump over to the TikTok side and I'll show you how to favorite those sounds so that you can use them in CapCut. So we'll just head back over to the TikTok app and we'll go up to the search. Let's just search for Michael Buble again. Search Michael Buble. And then across the top, you see sounds. And then you can scroll through the list of sounds and add, let's say, let's say I haven't met you yet. And then you see over here, it has add to favorites. Click on add that to favorites. Or if as you're scrolling through TikTok, you find a sound that you like, you can do it the same way. But then once you go back over to CapCut and you go to audio, uh, sounds, same place we went before, and click on TikTok and there you see it. You'll just have to download it. Just takes a few seconds. You just have to download it here. And then you click the plus and you can add it in that way. And if we go back in here, you can see it says some songs may not be shown due to copyright issues. So just keep that in mind that sometimes if you add a song to your favorites, if there's a copyright issue, it won't even show up in this list. So sometimes it's a trial and error trying to find a sound that does not have a copyright issue. Next, I'm going to show you how to use some viral effects within CapCut for TikTok. And this is kind of cool because there's been a lot of effects that have been generated through cap cut that have gone viral on TikTok and new ones all the time. So it's it's kind of a neat thing to kind of keep up to date on that. So if you click on your video portion and across the bottom you see effects, we click on that. And then we're going to click on video effects. And then you see here there's all types of different searches, but what we want is the trending. Okay? So then you could go through this list of trending effects. And again, if you see a little diamond up in the corner, that means it's part of the pro account. Uh, if it doesn't have a diamond, then it is, is part of the, the free version. So you see like we have a lightning effect. We'll just click on that. And you got some lightning there. Okay, pretty cool. And now when you post that, you've got that effect, which is embedded into the video, which if that goes viral, your video will be listed among those videos that have used that viral effect. So that's pretty cool. Next, I'm going to show you a way, you know, if you've ever been watching TikTok and you go, wow, I really like the format or the, the template of that video. How do I replicate that? Well, you could do that with CapCut. And so what we're going to do here is we're just going to go again up to the search button and we're going to search for CapCut. But again, this works if you're scrolling and you see this feature, you could click on it directly through there. I'm just going to a more direct route to find this. So let's just look through some of the top ones that we have. So let's say we find a video here, click on that. And you can see here, it says uh, down at the bottom above the, the title is CapCut, try this template. So if you ever see a video and it has that feature, you could just click on that. And then it'll go to this screen here and just say use template in CapCut. TikTok wants to open CapCut, open. And it's going to open that template within CapCut. Now I could click on use template and it says we need two videos to apply to that. Click on that one and that one. There we go. And then you go next and you can see here now it's just adding that same, those same features. You can see how it's coming across there. And it's a great way to be able to take something you've seen on TikTok that you like and being able to customize it all within CapCut. And it's a pretty seamless entry there. And then once you click on export, you save it, you post it on TikTok and you're good to go. 
Now, speaking of export, this is the other thing that's really cool with CapCut and TikTok is you could actually post directly to TikTok from CapCut. So again, we'll just click on the export. And so you have two options here. You have save to your device or you have save and share to TikTok without CapCut watermark. So you click on that and it's gonna open it up into TikTok. And now there's the video that we just created. And then you walk through your normal process of posting the video from there. So again, you don't have to worry about downloading it onto your, to your phone and then re-uploading it. It takes you right into the posting screen from here through the CapCut app. So you can see that these two apps really work together extremely well and have a lot of features that share among them. So I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.